Hello everyone, today I will be showing you how I film my nail tutorials without professional equipment. Here is where all the nail art takes place and I will be showing you today all my tricks to film tutorials. Something very important is the lighting and that's why I have one and two lights so that when my hand is in the middle the light comes right to it without creating any shadow on one side or the other. I found these lamps on Amazon and a piece cost between $15 and $20. I think they are very helpful for this purpose and as you can see this is the option where you can turn it between blue light to yellow light and this is how one of them look and then adding the second one it just gives it like a warm background. Honestly I like the blue lights a lot more just because it makes the background look brighter and my nails look better too. Something I really like about these lights is how flexible they are and it allows me to work with them so I can move them wherever I need to. It's nice to be able to move them easily so I can see how they look in camera and if they need to be closer or further away from my nails so everything looks perfect. I also want to give you a closer look so this lamp has this big clip and that's pretty much how I keep it attached to my vanity. This little extension cord comes with the control to make you able to turn off the light also to be able to switch it to a lowered or to a higher shade as well as being able to turn it to a yellow light. Anyways, this is just an option and you can also use any other lamp that you have around the house or as well you could just use the natural light which will probably make it a lot easier. Leaving behind the lighting, another important fact for filming nail tutorials is the background. From my previous tutorials, I realized it was a lot better to use a white background instead of those with different colors just because as i said before my background looks lighter and then it allows people to concentrate on my nail art and not what it's underneath my hand so as i said i'm only using this color paper for the pictures that i post at the end of my tutorials but it's totally up to you if you want to put some color while you're filming the tutorial or if you don't want to but i'm just sticking to the white paper for now. Moving on, the camera I use to film. Well, first let me tell you a little bit about my experiments. I tried the tripod before, but then I end up choosing the selfie stick. This is a very cheap kind. It's nothing uh, fancy, but it's just perfect for the purpose because you can see the tripod doesn't allow me to bend it enough so the camera can focus my nails and that's why the selfie stick works perfectly. You might be wondering how do I do to make the selfie stick stand and that's a little tricky part that I'm going to show you right now. So first what I do is to wrap something around it so when I insert it where my nail polishes are, it stays still. I'm using an old rag but you could also use paper or any other object that helps it to stay still and just make sure that it's not moving at all before you start filming. What do I use to film? My iPhone. This is an iPhone 5 and it did the job really well for what I needed to. I mean, besides being my cell phone for my everyday, I also use it to film my nail art tutorials. And I have upgraded and I don't use that one anymore, but anyways, it's gonna help me to show you how I used to do it. You can see the camera is pointing at my fingers and that's exactly what you want. The iPhone camera is really good, but if you have an Android, I'm pretty sure that's a lot better. So as I said, you could just have a regular camera or you could use your cell phone until the moment that you're able to buy something that works better for you. 
I'm just doing this for fun, so I'm not thinking I'm getting a professional camera right now. But anyways, uh, this is my setup, this is how I do it. And after showing you how I do all that, I also want to show you what I use to edit my videos. And that is an app called iMovie, and that's for iPhones. I don't know about Androids because I don't have one, but I'm pretty sure you could find a video on YouTube that tells you how to do that. And that is it for this video. I hope you find it helpful. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.